Even though we're now well into 2021, the top story of last year 2020, the coronavirus pandemics, is still shaping the current global aviation industry right now. Like many of the other aviation businesses, the aircraft manufacturers, in particular Boeing and Airbus, were also affected by the downturn and the reassessing of airlines' fleets. So now we're getting a gauge of how they fared in 2020 with the release of recent news reports regarding the total number of aircraft delivered last year. To start, we'll go begin with European aircraft manufacturer Airbus, which in their release stated that they delivered over 566 aircraft in 2020. The large majority of the aircraft delivered in 2020 were around 466 Airbus A320 family aircraft. In terms of how Airbus performed for deliveries in regions, the Asia-Pacific took the top spot, accounting for 25.8% of the aircraft deliveries. Though the vast majority of the aircraft deliveries were to leasers, which accounted for 29.4% of the deliveries. While there was a drop in terms of deliveries com compared to the 863 aircraft delivered in 2019, Airbus did state that the aircraft delivery numbers were in line with its adaptation plan made in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Shifting gears, we also get to know what Boeing's numbers for aircraft deliveries were as they released their recent fourth quarter delivery report. In that report, Boeing stated that it delivered 157 commercial aircraft, with a majority of the aircraft delivered in 2020 taking place in the fourth quarter, accounting for around 59 aircraft deliveries. Of the 157 aircraft delivered last year by Boeing, the majority were 53 Boeing 787s followed by 43 737s. These are probably not numbers that Boeing would have wanted, though this accounts for the challenges that the aircraft manufacturer has confronted such as the Boeing 737 MAX situation which Boeing only started resuming deliveries for the highly scrutinized jet towards the end of last year after the US FAA recertified the aircraft. Along with the 737 MAX situation, Boeing also had to confront the maintenance issues surrounding the Boeing 787s, which the company put in more time for inspections of the jets. In terms of aircraft orders, Airbus stated 268 in the previous year down from around 768 in 2019. Its current backlog stands at 7,184 aircraft. Among the orders includes the Taiwanese-based airline Starlux, which ordered around 8 Airbus A330neos. On the other hand, Boeing reported 184 gross orders, including 60 for the 737 MAX. However, the big point for Boeing was the cancellation of 650 aircraft and the removal of 1,000 aircraft from its backlog. Despite a historic low year for Boeing in terms of deliveries, one of the more prominent orders to come out for Boeing last year was for an additional 15 Boeing 787s by Japan-based All Nippon Airways. Going forward, Boeing and Airbus will be reassessing their orders, given the anticipation of the reduced air travel demand for the foreseeable future. We already see this with the Boeing 787 program as in December that there are plans now to reduce the production of the 787s from 6 to 5 to allow more time for inspections. Though there is some sense of optimism for the future, especially for Boeing and the 737 MAX program, which, which the cloud of the groundings no longer is a factor Though I will add that Boeing will need to gain the trust of airlines and companies regarding the MAX. Also, we have seen airlines' plans to retire their jumbo jets, specifically the 747s and the Airbus A380 Super Jumbos, something that has been previously anticipated before the pandemic. 2021 will be a year of starting to wind down operations of these programs leading into the year 2022. This is the year that is scheduled for Emirates to receive the last of the Airbus A380s it has ordered, while Atlas Air might be getting what would be the last Boeing 747s with the cargo version of the Dash 8s. Barring any unforeseen incidents that could hamper global aviation further, Boeing and Airbus are eyeing and planning their recovery for 2021. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.